Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making something really special for you. It's chicken shawarma. So that includes the shawarma bread, garlic tahini sauce, the chicken and uh, the salad. It is a little bit complicated recipe because there's loads of different elements. I need to be wary of the time but 100% really really worth it. I'll list everything in the description box below so definitely give it a try and if you have any feedback or questions let me know and um, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to start off with is marinating our chicken. Now this chicken is in quite big pieces, ideally the smaller pieces would be better. And what I did was cook it and then I cut it up afterwards. So I just coated it all in oil and I covered it in a Greek yogurt and garlic. And what I've done is add in a teaspoon of the following red chilli powder, cumin seeds, zira black pepper, galley mirch, red chilli flakes, tahinia seeds which is coriander seeds, salt, garam masala and tandoori masala powder. And also I added in white pepper this is quite common in shawarmas and I've added in plenty of lemon juice. I just had bottled lemon juice and I've just used that, three to four tablespoons. I've mixed it well and then I've left it to marinate for a couple of hours uh, or ideally if you can the night before. Then we're going to get on to making the dough. These are the measuring cups that I've used. So I have measured out three cups of plain flour half a cup of whole milk, one to two tablespoons of olive oil, it's one teaspoon of salt, you can use regular salt, I've just used low salt, and two teaspoons of sugar, and an egg, and the most important thing is your yeast, a dry activated yeast, I had a packet of it or even a teaspoon and then just to make it like combine it well as if you're making dough for bread or roti um, chapati so you just mix it it's really really sticky dough you can see it sticking to my fingers here but just keep persisting and get it as smooth as you possibly can add in a little bit of flour if you need and um, what we're going to do is cover this with cling film and leave it somewhere warm to rise and then we're going to make the garlic tahini sauce. So it's really, really tasty. It's better than actually using any shop bought sauce. So all it has in it is mayonnaise, salt, black pepper, four to five garlic cloves. This is a special ingredient two tablespoons of sesame seeds, and lemon juice, and also vinegar. And ideally you should use oregano, but I only had parsley, so I've put that in. And then with a stick blender, um, mix it all together. Now you can use shop bought, but I just wanted it to have the authentic shawarma taste, and this 100% is. And it's so nice that it's even better than shop bought or even buying your shawarmas from outside. Now I didn't show you the full footage here. All I've done um, was grate the vegetables. And because I put carrots in, there was a lot of moisture, so I've just squeezed out all of that moisture and I've just listed here, and everything's listed in the description box below. It's carrots, red onions, red, yellow, green um, peppers. Squeeze out the excess moisture and then put some vinegar or lemon juice on it and leave that to the side. Now, the marinated chicken, so we're going to get a wok or a pan, put some oil in it and then cook your chicken in it. My pieces of chicken were quite big, so that's why it took a little bit longer. Now you can see it gradually cooking in the water. Um, it's kind of thickening and I just kept checking with the back of the spoon if it was cooked um, or not. You can see here the oil has reached the surface and the sauce is thickened. That is absolute perfect. 
You don't want it to be watery, you don't want it to be too dry, you want it to have that kind of creamy taste. When the chicken's made, now you're going to make in your pita bread or your shawarma bread. So I just knocked out the air and then on a floured surface I kneaded it a little bit further to make it smooth. I cut it into eight equal pieces and then I made eight kind of rough sized balls and then I just covered them with a clean dish towel just for another 10 minutes to rise and then after that I made them into these kind of roti shapes and the size and the the shape isn't totally round but it's fine and then give it another 10 minutes to rise and then what I did was just put it on a hot tava or a pan medium to hot brush um, each side with water and uh, then just cook it and it doesn't take that long to cook you can see it, you just want that brown color and for it to start to bubble as well and the water just adds a little bit of kind of moisture and it keeps it nice and soft and it keeps it from drying out because there are so many elements um, you want everything to be roughly hot at the same time like your chicken and your shawarma bread so you can do it in whatever method is easiest for you but this suits me so you repeat the process for the remaining um, shawarma bread and then all we're going to do now is put it together so the way that I did it was I put one of the shawarma breads on to this proof paper and I covered the whole thing with a garlic tahini sauce then I, the chicken that was in quite big pieces I sliced that into smaller pieces and then I put that onto the bread and the sauce And then I added on the salad. Look at the lovely colourfulness. You can add in whatever salad you want. Some people add sweet corn, maybe mushrooms, all, but these are the things that suited me and these are the things that I had at home. So you're going to try and wrap it together into some sort of a wrap and uh, in that greaseproof paper and it makes it easier to eat. And oh my god everyone, it is so nice. You really, really, really need to try this. Little bit of effort. If you don't want to make the bread, you could just buy naan bread or pita bread from shops. But I think if you want the authentic taste, make everything from home. Uh, you'll really enjoy it and thank me later. And please like, share, comment and subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like to see me make, please leave a wee comment below and I'll get to it. Thank you. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye guys.